Hello, this is Robert McKim, founder and president of the Community Awareness Emergency Response Security Radio Patrol Organization, nonprofit organization, similar to REACT, if you know what REACT is, and there's a lot of people out there that are so-called professionals don't even know what REACT is. Even a lot of idiots out there that don't know what REACT is or what it is meant to be. Nor do they care what my organization is meant to be. Because they think they're smarter and they're better and they're badder and whatever else they think they are. But in reality, they're just a bunch of stupid fools that think they know better when they really don't. Like, yeah, here, um... Earlier uh, today, I was on my way down to uh, Dover, New Philadelphia, when I ran across, the, as I'm on my way down State Route 39, uh, Carrollton, some people were uh, flashing their headlights. And I'm like, okay, must something be going on down the road here. So, this is what my uh, dash cam caught. As I'm going down the road here. Actually what happened was I'm going down the road and there's a lot of uh, sharp curves on 39. And as I'm going down the road there was a pickup truck that came over onto my side of the road. And if I didn't see him quick enough and slow down I could have hit him head on. Okay, I was going to um, Dover and New Philadelphia today, which is um, Thursday, February the 11th, and on my way, I'm going down 39, see there's a car that's flashing its lights as uh, they pass me. And then I'm coming around these curves. And as I'm going, after I get around this curve here, then this pickup truck comes around that curve right there on my side of the road. On my side of the road, so I slowed down. It's like, what in the world? That Ford pickup truck went over. All the way over to this side of the road. I'm wondering what, why were people flashing their lights? Well, right up here, you'll see. So that car's flashing its lights too. There was an accident involving. There was a state patrol, and I was, uh, I just stopped to see what the patrol uh, was going to do, but let me go here to the next video. And the next video is this one right here, that I went to. Okay, I'm going to be pulling off the road here to make a phone call to uh, Carroll County Dispatch, Central Dispatch, to tell them about the accident.
can barely hear. sound too enthused about me calling but they didn't even sound like they were too concerned about uh, calling out somebody like the fire department to help with traffic control so I don't know something was wrong and I don't know one thing but the way people were driving this uh, today something is definitely wrong not just with uh, the 91 the, not 911 but I, I didn't call 911 I called uh, the regular service department number anyhow I called the central dispatch for Carroll County that guy act like you know he really didn't care Enough to say, oh, you know, we uh, we got somebody in route, or we're going to get somebody in route to help with traffic control. And then that truck that went over on the, my side of the road, going around that curve, could have hit me head on. Just want to let you people out there know to buckle up. And be safe when you're out on the roads because there are dangerous drivers. And when it comes right down to it, nobody really cares. Well, like I was saying, nobody really cares. You know, years ago, when I was going to accidents helping the Ohio State Highway Patrol, I received not only training in 1992 how to conduct traffic control, but the State Highway Patrol also helped teach me how to do traffic control. I'm not a stupid idiot. Not by a long shot. So, Carroll County Sheriff's Department, you need to wake up and listen to people like me. That accident was in a bad spot. That, yeah, there was a state trooper on scene, but he was also in a bad spot. People didn't really see, couldn't see, see him until they came around that curve. And... He was just in a blind spot. There needed to be in somebody on one side of the accident and the other side of the accident helping with traffic control. I couldn't do it myself. I thought that's what you had the fire department to do. Help with traffic control. Or ODOT. Here in Carroll County. Because it seems like you like calling out ODOT or the uh, fire department to help with traffic control and accidents or 
whatever the case may be. Why then you like calling out my organization? But anyhow, beside the point, the point is things wasn't done right. Years ago, the State Highway Patrol and other county sheriff departments would listen to my suggestions. Carroll County, they don't even want to listen to the fact that hackers have hacked the Carroll County website, got into Carroll County employees E Carroll uh, Car County email address to send me nasty emails. They don't want to listen to that fact either, even though I gave them the documentation and reported it. Report it to the county commissioners, report to the IT department. Do they care? No, not really. Otherwise, they would be calling me and, and, and uh, apologizing for one thing. But no, they don't want to apologize. They don't want to say sorry that someone hacked our email system and sent you a nasty email. They don't want to own up to the fact that People out there hate me with a passion. They hate my ministry and they hate my nonprofit organization with a passion, just like they hate Donald Donald Trump and other conservative Christians. They hate us with so much of a passion they'd rather try to destroy us electronically in any other way shape or form that they can or think they can because they think they can they think they can but they're nothing like that little engine that could just goes to show the losers that they really are if they have nothing else better to do with their lives than to try to hack and destroy someone's life. Look what's going on right now. People's identities have been stolen left and right. And even our governor of Ohio and lieutenant governor identity was stolen. And John Family Services gave somebody money unemployment compensation money in their name come on now if you don't know who your governor and lieutenant governor is by now and understand that they have a job and if you give somebody money using their name then maybe it's an inside job I believe there's a lot of uh, haters that are that work for government agencies that are actually probably behind a lot of this but you know that's just my opinion look on the inside before you look on the outside that's all I have to say God bless you have a blessed safe day <coughs>